Why use a quarter inch drive tools, Adam? I like to make my hands look bigger. Got a little bit of slop on my shaft, guys. We ran. Guys, welcome back to Cool Star Garage. Will we uh, fix this uh, water pumping issue? Maybe. Oh wait, I already spoiled that with my my intro. How do we get where we need to be? Watch it. Let's check on this impeller and get some water pumping. We'll see what this can do. Thank you. Well, here we go again. How did I put all my tools? Not away. I'm getting wet. That definitely was not on tight enough. Wow. So the previous owner definitely smacked on some stuff. I'm probably gonna hit that at the file. It's it's uh it's beat up. That's fine. Whatever this is is perfectly centered. I need a real tool. Somebody's gonna get to get gear wrench. And those are different sizes. Why would you do that? <sighs> okay. Take all my tools out, I guess. take something off in there put one bolt back in get in there so i gotta remove the starter motor to get to the this uh, linkage so i could drop the lower end lucky me wrong cool it's gonna start raining <clears throat> i felt like i almost broke my ratchet why well, use a quarter inch drive tools adam i like to I make my hands look bigger Another bolt on the front. I recommend disconnecting the battery first. Of course, I did not do that. Jeez. Make sure they don't ground out against uh, anything. You know, our, that should be safe. Should. So we got our uh, our drive shaft shift linkage right there. I'm going to disconnect that. Put that back together here in a minute. It's not really my favorite thing uh, doing is working on boat motors or uh, stern drives. I messed around with one on a C-Ray. It was a 1990 heavy did an impeller on that i know you guys can't see nothing but so i loosened that bolt i took this bolt out i'm gonna pop i'm gonna pop this grommet off out of here and hopefully i'll be able to just drop that whole shaft right out of there we'll see i don't know i'm gonna try something even if it's wrong oh i gotta fix that first dang it hey Okay, it's a pain. I don't know. Already misplaced the wrench I was using. Nope. Why? Right where I left it, not where I needed it. That grommet needs to come out. That's gonna ruin that. Why is there never an easy way to do things? Okay, so it's the double lipped gasket. Guys, I'm not happy. I'm getting ready just to. Yeah. The right way? No. Let's see if we can find some schematicals for it. Probably can. Lower drive somewhere or another. Yeah, this is what's being a pain in the ass right here. Looks like I'm doing it the right way. There's no way to drop it unless you disconnect it from the, the engine. There's a way to do it from the bottom, but you have to have it apart first. Dang it! Yep, this guy right here. Welcome to the Cool Start Garage. You're going to watch me be reckless now. she is there it is stern drives off what a pain see that grommet right there is what i was fighting with i wanted to take it off but i guess we're just gonna not all right time to clean up my mess and because i need this table to work on <laughs> guys i'm a slob <laughs> all right guys so this is not the main reason why I took it off. The impeller is shot. But that last owner really damaged to this. So I'm just going to clean up some of the burrs the best I can. Not, not going too over crazy. Thank you. 
So I'm looking to get in there. This unit is filled with oil, so it's not gonna surprise me if it pukes oil. I don't know. I'm just gonna put it in exactly the same way. I don't know why it wasn't pumping water. Looks like it's in there. <laughs> oh wow. I got a whole new unit and a new plate. Eh, probably not the easiest way to do it. I'm gonna probably run that on first. Well, this this plate looks like, well, let me do the wrong thing. I probably do have a, a seal for that. I don't wanna mess with it. Got some of this gasket sealer. Seal gaskets. And I'll put a little more on this side. Actually, I'll probably do it on that side. Dang, making a mess. Professional. Got a little bit of slop on my shaft, guys. just reuse this one because it doesn't seem like this one is uh pushed in all the way i mean i'm not going to reuse the, the seal you know maybe <laughs> growing pretty impatient doing this just trying to do it without ripping it because i might have to reuse the seal i wonder why i stopped pumping i might have to look in there it's sticky in all the wrong places yep like that who knows you know, i hope i can get that on I'm definitely going to shorten this down. Not going to make it look this hard. <laughs> I think I'm going to hook water up to it right now. I wonder if my muffs weren't working right. Or the pee hole's blocked. I don't know. Well, that's clear. We'll do one more thing. I need to go get something to eat. I'm just gonna see if I have a clear passage here. Something came out of there. All this just puked out of my uh, my engine. That's probably why I wasn't getting a uh, water flow. Whatever that is, but I bet you'll flow good now. New impeller and that's all clear. I'm glad I did that. Props chewed up a little bit. So we're gonna run it now. Don't worry, I won't forget the water. All right, see what that does. Did I disconnect the fuel? No. Did I prime the ball? No. Did I like it's squirting water already? Come on. You stubborn prick. She still needs a little fine tune adjustment. I'm gonna back off this top carburetor a half turn. That's a nice, solid stream. I'm 
gonna try some gears. What happened there? Not quite running right. I think she needs just to be ran. Uh, guys, I think I made a huge error. You see all this uh, beautiful two smoke just floating, wafting through the air? Maybe you guys can't see it, but uh, my front windows are wide open. The wife, <laughs> she's gonna be so mad at me <laughs> when she gets home. <laughs> oh, hey, you're still here? Well, thanks for staying towards the end. Uh, next video, we're gonna launch this on bitch and we're gonna scoot across some kind of water. Eh, see what happens. Stay tuned. <laughs>